we wanted to prove uh, some things and most of it we wanted to play in this arena. Uh, playing in this arena is a dream for all of us, even though I already played in this arena, I just wanted, I wanted to do it again. Yeah, that's why losing to Nervi in the final is even more like devastating, I would say. Okay, so we played like uh, three pretty good teams before. Uh, we managed to beat two and lose against NIP. But playing against NIP was a bit hard for us because we didn't know what to expect from them because they changed new players and they just play a new playstyle, I would say. But coming to SK, I feel like uh, we lost the, the last match against them. But we are 4-1 against them right now, so I feel we can beat them again. And even if they are probably the best team in the world right now, I'm not scared, we're not scared at all against them and we're just going to give our best to go to 3-1 and beat them. The team we mostly want to play is SK, I guess. We always like to play them, it's always a good fight. And historically we play some finals, some good best of three and stuff. And that's our best opponent, I'd say we always trade the wins. That's the start to the retake. Apex behind the pillar, gets the first kill in return, so it's down to the one versus one for Taco. Paint him out, it's three kills ah! oh, now for Taco, excuse me, for Apex as he gets the kill immediately and goes to the AWP. It brings us to 8-5 as well. Originally, but spot on the backside of Cold Fallen is able to get it back, but the down is always punishing. Kenny's still alive. He'll take a shot to Fur. Close around himself, takes out Fallen, so CT side of Ops has been more prevalent, undoubtedly. We came in Cologne very excited because we knew what kind of a tournament it was and um, how important it was to perform good here and to be on a stage. Uh, after the group stage, we felt pretty confident because we showed great display. Yeah, we, we felt pretty confident also facing Navi because we knew the map pool was going to be on our favor and um, it was quite a huge edge knowing that. And so we we're very proud and happy to go on a stage. That's just going to make it more uncomfortable. Four players looking down through Monster and Simple actually connecting on one, but Shox is doing it better. And he's already got one in the round, looking for Apex out to its long. The timing, he's got a second. Now the defense is on. You can see Guardian, he's working it now. He feels it, but he misses that shot. It's a little unfortunate. Apex just swinging under the bullet. Plays in very different spots, and they need success from Flaney, and they don't get it. Simple as that and seized. Gonna fall as well, Apex turreting around. Posted up the created space for him. There's one at range. This is where he excels. This is the follow-up on Edward. He's got more to do, and there it is. Down to just simple, and he's got need, he needs to make more magic happen. Pushing up, there's one kill, wrapping around the pole. But he's got too many opponents to deal with. It's Kenny S again. All three kills at the end. He gets G2 up to 15, map point. Kenny prepares, he knows the hit's coming. He's got body beside him, the flash comes out. But where's the hit? He waits, 
He waits. He spots maybe the barrel, and that's all he needs. Kenny comes into it. Oh, for the trade! Ten seconds! And it's down to body to keep this one secure, and he does more than enough. No. Lock this one down. Bomb toyed with, teased, not actually committed. Spots out a player who wants this, simple. Raring to go, you can see him desperate for these kills, but he's buying time as well. But no, Apex right back into it, trade it out. Oh, Flamey, the two kills are absolutely paramount. And it's all into C's hands, that kill is huge. But it's a 1v1, Bomb is ticking. He tries to back away, he gets spotted. And now Shock's trying to take the fight. And there it is, seized, what a shot in the end. Incredible play from him. Shot shocks can try and do more. Again, whittling away the economy. There it is, down into a one-on-one. -on -one. And it's Flamey with an AWP. Not exactly known for this weapon. Time is a factor. Down to just 12 seconds, and he's gonna try and get on the vents, and he's gonna do it. If that was an M4, it might have been doable. trying to tear him apart. Guardian gets in on it. It's down to Kenny S. Yes. Eight seconds is not enough. And it's Narvi through to the semi-finals. Outstanding performance. against Navy, uh, I knew it would be like a really hard game because it's an opponent that we are not used to play. So when you play a lot against an opponent, even if he's really good, you learn how to play against. And we didn't have the ch chance against Navy, so I knew it would be really hard. Um, I guess we had the both maps in a, uh, in a certain way. Like there is a moment where we were leading on both maps but we just lost our concentration, our, our focus, and starting to make some mistakes we don't do when we are winning. And I mean, at, at this level against a top tier uh, team like Navi, when you start doing some mistakes, then you just lose, that's it. Like basically we start good matches, then we get comeback, then we close the match every time. We didn't have like reference match like where we lose. Uh, and uh, here in Cologne we had one against Navi. We were pretty much like winning the match, winning every situation, like feeling really superior to them. And we lost by doing like mistakes or getting overconfident or or just panicking and yeah, so I don't really know. We need to fix on that because it's a problem since day one. We get overconfident when we start winning and we need to really be serious like all the time and to, to just don't stop till we get to 16. I think there is always the same problem with our team, which is when we start, when we're just playing our game and things go good for us, we don't really care in the sense that we just follow our game plan and that's when uh, teams start countering us or just winning some tight rounds that don't go our, our way that we cannot control ourselves and so emotions take over for most part of the team and that's where we just cannot keep focus anymore and we just start shifting our priorities uh, thinking more about yourself that one person tries to make the difference all on his own and that's where the whole team part crumbles that's where um, we lose everything as a team we lose the communication we lose the motivation we lose um, that team spirit that we have throughout the whole best of three and throughout the whole event. Yeah, it's it just the same thing over and over again. Just a lack of control, a lack of um, 
emotional stability and um, not being able to stay, stay calm and focused. Uh, I definitely agree uh, with Nathan on this point. We, that's what we, we, our analyst uh, Niklas told us. Uh, he's calling, calling it physical attitude or something like this. I, I, it's not the, the real word, but something like this. The body language, that's how he called it. Uh, like uh, sometimes when you get mad, when you are sad, when you are angry because of whatever, uh, you have to keep yourself, stay concentrated and do, do stuff like this <laughs> or whatever because your teammates just cross next to you like we'll see it and it's a negative sign you know and you have to really like work on yourself and just keep inside Keep it inside for you during the match. If there is a plan, you, we will talk later, whatever. But they're doing the match, you, we can do this. And we definitely have a problem in this team uh, with this kind of comportment. Well, for sure, we, are, we don't like our talents. Uh, but we have been lacking of mental strength, I would say. Um, most of us are pretty emotional. Um, I think we actually are experienced enough to handle pressure. When you put your emotion outside, uh, for me it's a bad thing because it's at the moment, at this moment, that you will lose your focus and your concentration about the game. So I'm not someone like this. But sometimes uh, I'm emotional, but in my opinion, that's, not a, that's definitely not a good thing. Uh, it just, you know, sometimes when you have a lot of tension or whatever, you just sometimes can't control it as you should. You say that, but you, to, but you go to the casino. See, that's why I don't have the money anymore. The development was like for me, like CS, it's a circle, you know, you learn things, then you forget it. And like, the main point of it, it's like to always remind the players to, to not forget it. And uh, when we don't perform, it's because we don't apply the right things, you know? And there is always mistakes. When, because with the team we have, if we don't do mistakes, we are gonna win. Like, almost, not 100%, but we will perform. And so when we lose, it's, uh, it's like because like players forgetting things or not in the right mindset. And my job is to help them to and remind them every every day like what is how to win how to win you know like how to play the game and how to play it good. Like they know how to play. They they have like a lot of skill you know individually, but they they need to play together basically. And my job is that like to make them play together. To all people who follow follow us and are still cheering for us after this uh, disappointment about this lose, we have to be honest. Uh, what I can say is, I can't I can't at the moment give you the answers that you want to hear because uh, it won't be real really realist in my opinion. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is like. We are as much disappointed as you, even more, I guess. And we definitely will try to do our best and to find how to come back stronger, even if we don't have much time for the major, and we'll give our best over there. I don't know what will happen, but the only thing I can tell you is like, we'll do really everything we can to come back better. I don't know how to say it, like basically like fans or like, you know, you, you first you play for result, for yourself because of your competitive side, but you play as well like for fame 
and to please like you know people who are watching like like we are showmans you know like showmans like it's a, it's not a sport really like it's like more a show you know and you play for the for the audience and you play for the crowd you have been supporting us from the beginning and uh, we know it we read your comments we will actually see everything you say and write so thank you very much and keep supporting us because um, without you we wouldn't be what we are so thank you very much to the g2 army i think this team uh, have been created for winning major so it's our main goal uh, we are ready we are ready since weeks now we are ready to go to the major we just have to to play good like sometimes we play good sometimes we play bad so it's up to the players uh, and it's up to everything around, of course, me and stuff. And I, mean, I think we are ready. We created this team, like I said, like to win major. It's our first test now, and we're gonna give everything to win it.